you designed your tray and now you're going to print it and you want to use an EPAX printer and we're going to use Jitubox software. So one of the things I'm going to first verify are the settings that I have, particularly if you have multiple printers that use Jitubox. I want to verify the platform size. I also want to verify some print settings. Um, you're going to go at 50 microns. The bottom layer is going to be at 10, exposure time 12, and the bottom exposure time 60. Once you have those settings in place, you're good to go. I'm going to then go ahead and open my file. I'll place both the maxilla and the mandible. Usually I'm printing these on our 1X, which is our smaller. I want to print these horizontally. So what I'm going to need to do is flatten my face. So to the left, you'll activate, flatten by face, and then it'll allow you to sit the tray directly on the print platform. Now, if you wanted to use supports, you can go over here, but I like to print these flat. The one thing you're going to want to make sure of is that when you roll it over, you can see an entire horseshoe. If you can't, maybe you see some of it missing, go ahead and sink it down into the print platform. So to do that, you don't want to use that. Don't use that Z. That's the scale. Here is where you can go negative Z, and that will put it slightly below the print platform. You'll see that model sink into the base. So that's a trick if you have something that you think isn't completely flat and isn't completely flat on that print platform to make sure it hears. I also like to go to the side and then check what those exposures look like and see how those layers are going to build for you. And you'll notice there's a little bit of difference. Right when I had it sitting just on the print platform. And then we'll go ahead, we see the arch. Go ahead and slide through so you can see all of your layers. Now you're ready to print. And so the next step will be slicing. So you're going to head over to the slice feature. Uh, click on it's a, uh, click on that. And it's starting to slice. I also like to check them. This is what the exposure is going to look like. Just so I can see what does that bottom layer look like. And there you can see the bottom layer. You can see where the handles appear and then the outline of the teeth. And then all I need to do is save. And usually we'll save these to a flash drive and then go ahead and, and place the flash drive directly into the printer. And I like to save those as uh, Jitubox slicer files. And often we'll load multiple print jobs onto, onto the same flash drive so you don't have to keep taking it out. So one of the differences when you're using something like Jitubox, uh, which is a free software, is you have to dial in those settings for the resin. And sometimes you may find that you need to vary them a little bit. Instead of maybe 12 seconds per exposure layer, you may find that you need to go a little bit higher. Um, or you may need to increase the number of base layers. But usually we find if we have 10 base layers and we expose those first 10 layers at 60 seconds, we get good adherence to the print platform. So then once you're finished printing, um, you can then go ahead and follow the video clip that we did as far as post-processing.